Carbon monoxide is an odorless, tasteless gas, but there are many odors that contain carbon monoxide, many of which you are familiar with. Everybody should have a carbon monoxide alarm in their home. This is the time of year that it gets cold and everyone starts closing their houses up. No more open windows and open doors. Do not warm your car up in the garage. You should never back your car up to your any doors in your building and let that car warm up because auto exhaust will work its way inside that building. If you are exposed to carbon monoxide automotively in your garage, those are very high dangerous levels. If you are over 400 parts per million of carbon monoxide, you would, that would result in death in about three hours for a healthy adult. For someone that has respiratory problems or heart um, problems, that time is diminished exceptionally. If it's over 200 parts per million in their house that we find, we would call 911, ask them to leave the house, and the fire department and utilities would arrive at that point. Now your local fire departments are putting their breathing apparatus on at 35 parts per million and are evacuating buildings before that alarm would make a sound in your house. Another odor that contains carbon monoxide is when you turn on your gas cooking oven. That odor you smell contains carbon monoxide, even though carbon monoxide itself is odorless. So you must be very careful using that appliance. You should never use them to heat your building. Even on the moderately cool days where you think, well, I don't want to turn the furnace on, I'll just use my gas cooking oven. That's an unvented appliance. Unless you've had it tested for carbon monoxide, you have no idea how much carbon monoxide is being generated by that appliance. One of the simplest things that anybody can do, first off, get a carbon monoxide alarm. Even if it is a high level, get one. You'd be better off getting one that has a digital display. You need to know it's still a high level alarm. It won't go off until over 70 parts per million has been reached in that alarm. It has to delay, but the digital display will tell you if it's over 30 parts per million. Um, and so you need to know if there's any digital display showing on your alarm, don't wait for it to alarm. Call somebody to get your house checked for carbon monoxide, your appliances checked for carbon monoxide. If you have a gas furnace, a gas water heater, a gas fireplace, all of those appliances should be tested to be operating within manufacturer's operating specifications. They should be tested to see that they are not producing dangerous levels of carbon monoxide. At, at this time, Regional Building Department has one of these carbon monoxide detectors on every single one of their inspectors. So when you have an inspector come to your home, uh, they're testing for carbon monoxide. That's just one more layer of protection that PPMCA and RBD are trying to protect our citizens. As a homeowner, you may be in a chronic environment and you may not know it because your alarm is not making a sound. So it's very important that you understand that. There are low level monitors available. They're gonna cost you more money. A lot of people object at the cost, but what's your family worth? I see a lot of people eating out at restaurants and they're buying new cell phones and new cars and yet they have a furnace that's 30 years old. They have a carbon monoxide alarm. They don't know if it even works because it's never made a sound. No one's tested it. The only way they've tested it is with testing the electrical components. They don't know if the sensor's working at all. We will replace our cell phones, our TVs, our computers. But for some reason, our furnace is supposed to last 30, 40 years. We really need to be realistic about protecting ourselves in our homes.